Good afternoon. What brought down something? A little screw or something? I don't really what happened. But anyway, so I did this. Attempted story on the sewing machine. Took it all apart, cleaned it all up, and it runs perfect. But I don't like the case on it. It's plastic. Should be wood, actually. Yeah, that's what I think it should be. So, still cleaning up rust. That's pretty rusty on, on, under there, but luckily, for some reason, the bearings and all that, um, the bearing surfaces, 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 <laughs> are okay and all that, so. Emery cloths and some elbow grease. Some sort of sandpaper. Emery paper, number one. I cleaned up well, runs fine, so. What am I gonna do with it? I don't know. But it's a piece of engineering that uh, is all metal, except for the case, which is gonna make a wooden box for it. <laughs> Why would they use plastic? I don't know. <coughs> anyway, so that's done, and also checked over the two new arrivals, uh, signal shifter system, and the microwave radio receiver. It works just fine. So, oh, got that out of the way, what else am I going to do? Make this video now, I suppose? Yeah, I guess so. Why not? Why, why not? I can act now, act silly. Can I act silly? Never mind, we won't go there. Okay, so I know. Good advice, yeah, I am. Should do more stretching like you suggested, muscle work and laying down. That was a comment, some nice person left. Um... Yeah, I'll do that. I shall do that. And what else should I do? Well, let's see. Nice warm day today. And took all the garbage out from the new arrivals. So I got one, two, three, four new arrivals. So I think about 12 of them. I got more to come. That keeps me busy. I, I get pretty fast going on the restoration of things. I've been doing it for so long. <laughs> <coughs> I said this before, but um, one of my restoration projects was a, a Model 94 Winchester takedown model. Through a fire. All the carbon leached out onto it. Being through a fire. So. I re-put the carbon back in by heat and coke and all that stuff and got the new, made my own stocks too. My God, that's a long time ago. I started this restoration stuff a long time ago. I did trade it for something with Phil Gaddison, owner of Adnac Salvage or, not Adnac Salvage. On Alexander Street, an old house was been converted to a scrapyard area. That was impressive. He passed away as long as Freddie passed away. Freddie was one of the workers there and Phil passed away. But I got loop antennas from those folks and uh, ship stuff. an old dynamo. I wonder whatever happened to that. Who stole that one? Alexander Sharashevsky, did Aunt Randy steal that too or did it go to the secret storage site in Surrey, British Columbia it made news? Inventor goes to ground. All the newspapers covered that story. I was in Germany. I couldn't do anything. But, oh well. Things shit happens, right? Right. Oh, what other news? Well, I uploaded pictures of World Trade scrap, as well as um, number two in my stupid video was uh, Second Arrows Bridge Collapse, which I was a kid at the time. It was very noisy, okay? It joined Vancouver to North Vancouver. Trans-Canada Highway. And we always cross on the bridge 
next to the Second Isles Bridge, which is a lot smaller. But it got wrecked by um, ships banging into it, a small bridge in the 20s and that kind of thing. So one of the reasons why they built Second Arrows, which they completed after the accident, 20 souls died there. And so I put that together because the steel was mangled up and twisted up without heat. next to my WTC video. And I read some very interesting stuff about conspiracies on WTC, which I copied and pasted to certain people. It is indeed a gravity collapse, okay? Buildings fell down. There was a fire. There was a forge effect with wind blowing through their updrafts on the fire. And you get those kind of buildings, you know, and a weak member, and then the whole thing collapses, and fuming is just water. I think somebody who's fuming and doing that, and then all this dust stuff, well, that's concrete exploding. Now, when a floor falls down, boom, it goes out the sides. Four inches of concrete. So I've seen many people's opinions. on that and the next story up. Thermite, oh yeah right, come on. Directed energy, oh come on. And no planes, all this crazy incomprehensible gibberish. I like truth and reality. I make up fantasies. So if I lose friends, I don't care. They weren't your friends in the first place. So, like so. Doesn't matter. Real friends are real friends, so. They accept you for who you are. Like I do with many people, but some of them are tricky. Sneaky and tricky. <laughs> Sneaky and tricky. Tricky dicky. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, yeah, so what other conspiracies are there? All kinds of silly things. One of them is Baker. No planes. Oh, jeez, really? I see why they think they're crazy people. Wow. How about the vanishing spiral spear or whatever? The column of metal and looked like it vaporized, but all it did was actually was in the cloud of broken up concrete. So when it fell, it, it kind of got out of focus range and concrete dust on it. That's how I would explain it. I would like to say, well, it just vanished. Yeah, okay. It just vanished. Oh, really? That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Piles of steel just vanished. Fell, out, fell like that. Like smoke, or smoke and concrete dust kind of blanket and make it look like it's vanishing. It's fun to deal with reality, you know. <laughs> Can you deal with reality? You gotta deal with reality. Something, then you can prepare for doing other things. Oh, gee, what's my reality? Oh, well, you know. Take it as it comes and deal with it, right? Right. Anyway, on to other topics. People watch these videos say, well, that guy's insane. Yeah, I know. But you're not my friend, are you? No. So it's not... Yeah, I don't like false friends either. But mind you, I had a lot of great friends and scientists. Most of them passed away now. They were a lot older than I am. But, well, it's kind of sad.
that because they were very flamboyant. We would talk for hours about things and do stuff like Ken Shoulders and Gordon Novell and many others, like Dr. Rauscher. So what are you up to, EVO? I heard you escaped. <laughs> got out of the car somewhere and although you, in a harness, you got out of this harness and got through the window. Mummy took a while to try and find you. Mm -hmm. Chevy nut. You had fun seeing Charles last night, didn't you? Okay, what else can I talk about? Hmm, I'm doing a lot of talking these days. Well, it's, I don't mind, I think it's kind of fun. I like, enjoy it, being a lunatic like I am. I kind of enjoy it. It's fun. But if I get the experiments going here, it should be somebody, not me, filming it. It used to be everybody else that filmed them. They either make it on in the main medias or not. So a few didn't make it, I don't know, or maybe they have, and I don't know about it. But was it NBC and CNN made took films? Much film footage from Griffin Film Productions. Look it up. Look for my footage. See what I mean? Or other times the film crew want to film me and buy, then buy footage from Peter. I made $40,000 in one purchase. Wow! I don't think any footage has been sold. It's like... I'm just a, a has-been lunatic, you know? <laughs> That's okay. Doesn't bother me any. So... Well, I did film effects in here. It was electrostatic. That's over uh, east, over two years ago, and it's on my YouTube channel somewhere, but nobody watches it. But it worked out pretty good. And once I get other stuff going here, I'll be filming it. We'll see who else wants to film it. I know where to send the video. Certain people I know. I'll see what they say. But anyway, that's another topic for another day sometime, right? Right. <laughs> so. Another topic, another day. Uh, so somebody was doing an experiment and lost grams in weight. Well, if you use barium titanate, you can lose quite a bit. Beautiful anti-gravitational effects are simple things you want to do. Or electrostatic. Well, I remember I used to do that in the apartment and it was filmed. It's on the internet somewhere. But it was Caroline Allard, an actress lady who is Scully's stunt double, and I were having fun with it. She put her business card in the center and it would float up in the air. She thought it was really cool. And she's the one that uh, visited Colonel Alexander without me telling Colonel Alexander who phoned me. So there's some woman here to see me. I, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's Caroline Allard. She's an actress. Stunt actors, and you know, it's kind of, oh dear, my fault, sorry. But anyway, that was in the 90s, wasn't it? Or 2000 something or other. I think it was 2007 or something like that. And what else I was thinking about doing today or tomorrow, maybe, um, involving a gear reduction system for my drilling machine. Which goes too fast from the motor, so. I made the actual reduction unit, have it mounted on this thing over here. 
show you. I can show you this crazy thing I put together a while ago now. Mm -hmm. In the corner there, you see that? It's a po old post drill, and I made a stand for it. Out of wood. And there's a motor on it, but the motor runs too fast, so... Um, yeah, I don't know about reducing the pulley size, but I could use a gear reduction, which I have down laying on the floor there, which you're going to mount up there somewhere. I get it in a proper speed because it runs too fast. It looks funny when it's running fast, however. It looks like it's gone, lost control of itself. But we'll fix that, too. I'm always busy with projects, and it's a lot of fun. I like it. And you see Mr. EVO comes and goes. We can't come in here when there's high voltage flying around EVO. Those other crazy things I'll be doing. <laughs> right, EVO? Mm hmm? Silly boy. I just had some licorice. I used to like eating licorice, but I don't, I don't know, I don't, I'm not fond of it anymore. Why that is, I don't know the answer. Hmm, what have we got here? Piece of metal. Well, I'm going to use that for something to do with Ha! <laughs> Dear Mr. EVO, Somebody about stretching and all that is really a good comment. Appreciate it, you know. Got to do more uh, physical workouts and stuff like that too. It will help. What am I trying to do here? Huh? Oh. oh yeah. So I'll be doing that. It's very good advice you gave me and. Uh, Probably stretch again here, I suppose. Yesterday I lost my head. Well, I lost my head a long time ago, but yeah. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I'll lose my uh, other body parts here if I don't properly film it. But. I started to feel hungry, Mr. EBO. Must you move, BBO says. Must you move? Yeah, I gotta move. I'm trying to organize something here. And uh, it's not working out too good, but I'll try. Put that down there and move this over here. We'll try that scenario. And bring this up here. Mr. EVO doesn't like being bothered with all this stuff. Oh, that's not working well, is it? <laughs> Jeez. Nah. like that. I think. You're going to slide off now? Why do I think it's sliding? I'm losing my brain. So I should go over there. I pull up and stretch. Do that now for the heck of it. I'll see what happens. I, I like filming myself for some reason. Oh, oh God. Yeah, so, um, This here, I should add another one so I can pull myself up. Oh, yeah. It feels so good doing that. I think I'm in focus here, alright? Where are you? <laughs> I 
actually laying on the floor is more fun. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so I grab one of these bars here. Laying on the floor, yeah, it's very a lot of fun for me. I should do clean. Yeah, I what I do is mop the floor quite often here. Get any dust particles and stuff like that. I'm 